please welcome James Beard award-winning Kwame Onwachi. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. I mean, I'm so happy that you're back on the show and I'm not gonna uh, hesitate to brag. You are number one on Amazon for your cookbook right now and it hasn't even come out. Thank number you. One number with one with a bullet. We did it, we're doing it. I mean, how good does that feel? It feels so good for a multitude of reasons, right? Like I'm able to really share my culture and I think so many people have different versions of what American food was for them growing up. Yeah. For me, it was curry chicken, oxtails, you know, jollof rice, a goosey soup. So this book is uh, my love letter back to America. It's, it's full of all the recipes that I've cooked and all the classics. So we're gonna cook one today. I cannot wait. Teach me everything. All right. By the way, loving the new season of Top Chef. It's good. It's so good. It's been fun. It's, it's been a lot of so fun. so good. Yeah, and it's in Houston, which is a great city. I know, I'm loving this season yeah. so much. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make our green seasoning. So green seasoning is a Caribbean marinade. It goes with vegetables, it goes with meats, um, and we're just gonna add this to the blender. So we have green onions, all of our aromatics in there. We have some... Celery, thyme, celery, onion. Thyme. We have ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste. And then we have some, you like your food spicy. I, I do, I do. I it's because I've dulled this palate over the years. Over the years. So then we have some pepper sauce. So just put that on top and hit that button. And I want the crowd to go, 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 go. Yeah! That's it. That's it. Is that enough? That's enough. I hate when it like frappes too much and it and starts to get mushy. foamy. Yeah. Ugh. So put some little bit of oil in there. The whole thing or just a? Just a little bit. There you go. You're going to add your onions to that. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, right? It does. I love a sizzle. We're going to add our uh, green seasoning. And you can smell this already. Yeah, you want to get all of that. Oh, yeah, you do. This is why I love a silicone <laughs> spoon. Exactly. Oh. So then we have two spice blends. So we have a toasted curry powder, and then we have a house spice, which is my mom's all-purpose seasoning. It's something that she always kept in arm's reach when she was making any dish. Mm -hmm. So there's like coriander, there's fenugreek, there's turmeric, there's cumin. I love fenugreek. And then in the house spice is like, uh, you know, black pepper, cayenne, um, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. I so there's so cumin. much cumin. Yep. I love it. I smell there's the cumin. So much flavor developed. I don't know about anybody else, but cumin to me smells like a sexy boyfriend t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so you got that. You're going to add your chickpeas to that. Okay. And this is a quick dish, you know, but it has a lot of flavor that's built up. And that's what a lot of the recipes um, are indicative of that are in this book. The so mix smell that up. is just insane. It is so... <laughs> Vibrant. So, so on my side, I kind of got the same thing going on here. I've had chicken that's been marinating for 24 hours in that green seasoning. I've seared it, uh, put some of the seasoning to the side. Okay. And I'm going to add it back to the pan. So I'm going to mirror what you're doing. Oh, the scent of this, it's like curry and it's a crazy. lemon tree growing out of it and onion and garlic and... The, the pepper. So you got that simmering. I've got mine simmering. And then you just put a lid on it. Next to you, we put have some. Put a lid on it. That's it. <laughs> and next to you, you got the curry already ready to go. Look at how absolutely stunning this is. Could I put it on yeah, the right? Yeah, put it right on there. I'm gonna put chicken on mine. It's so it just falls off the bone. Kwame, could you? <laughs> Put some chopped uh, cilantro on there. I am so excited. Can we cheers, cheers real quick? Oh, cheers, we're my the same love. Thing. Cheers. I'm so happy to be back with you. And I'm. Oh man. <laughs> right. Getting that heat up in the nose. Mm -hmm. Um. Really. Really hearty, mm -hmm. very comforting. The chickpeas are melt in your mouth. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Thank you, oh, thank you. Oh, no wonder you're number one with a bullet on Amazon before your book even came out. Thank you so How much. How amazing is that? Thank you. I was so excited when I saw it, because I follow you on Instagram and I saw it. I mean, and I just 
have to say, as a cookbook club person and a collector of cookbooks, I love the cover of your book. I think it's really soulful and beautiful. It feels personal, it's graphic. I love the font you chose and it just makes me want to dive in. Thank you, thank you. You know, it's really a, a collection of stories big enough, the people that came before me, you know, the people that really made these recipes who they are. There's anecdotes before each recipe that tells you the history of jerk, that tells you the path that curry took to, uh, to the Caribbean. So you get to really know the why behind why these dishes have stood the test of time for so long. Well, you're such an honoring person, it really doesn't surprise me. So get your copy now of My America, Recipes from a Young Black Chef, available on May 17th, already number one.